Uh, my name is Alan Tiano. I'm the grant administrator for Broward County, Florida, and I have been in my current role for six and a half years. Actually, I was a neuromuscular therapist many years ago, and my partner developed age related neuropathy in his feet. And I used to have to work on him every morning so that he could get up and walk. And after he passed away, I had this thought, why don't I get a grant that I could use to do this for other people? And what I learned uh, with people with age related neuropathy. So I hooked up with an HIV clinic in Fort Lauderdale and I wrote a Ryan White application uh, to deliver these services and I got funded. So after that, the, at the, this particular clinic, it was like, oh, Alan writes grants, let's give it to him to write. <laughs> so suddenly I was writing grants as well as doing therapy uh, for patients. So it, um, it just grew from there. Uh, from that point, I was um, a COO at an organization called Hispanic Unity that worked with immigrants um, from all over South America and the Caribbean. And then I went out and became a consultant, which I did for nine years, working strictly with nonprofits. And, you know, that was wonderful for a long time. Um, of course, consulting has its challenges, and some of those are insurance and retirement benefits. Uh, position came open at the county, so I applied, got that, and then was promoted into uh, the grants administrator position, which was a brand new position, and uh, that's where I've been ever since. And I, I would say that working with all different types of nonprofits, learning all about all different types of human services and needs uh, in the different communities uh, really gives you an all around background. In the county, we are a centralized grant office. So we deal with all different parts of the county, all the different departments. Well, when I started, there was not just a bachelor's degree and, and uh, a few years experience for the position I was brought in on. Um, since I've been the grant administrator, um, now for all grant staff, it's either GPC preferred or CGMS preferred. It's also included in the salary justification. So uh, a GPC or a CGMS will earn more money to start. 30 years ago, there was no certification or, or background in grants. We were all sort of accidentally drafted into the profession. Um, along the way, very early on, I found GPA and was able to uh, begin attending conferences and getting trainings. And as the grant profession grew and diversified, even the federal agencies began putting out a lot of webinars and information. And you see that here today, it's very overwhelming sometimes, all the invitations we get to all the different webinar and educational opportunities. So you have to be very selective about where you put your time, but the resources out there now are nothing like they were 30 years ago. I think what people would be most surprised is that the county has 31 cities and I have to deal with 31 different municipalities throughout the county. Uh, most people think it's the county as one entity, but really we have many other partners that we deal with and stakeholders on a regular basis. Wow. <clears throat> well, I get to work with 
the port, the airport, environmental agencies that we have here, um, libraries, as a whole list of all different types of agencies and departments. And within these agencies and departments are specialists in their field. So I get to also work with the brightest engineers and, and, and people in their profession to put their ideas together into something that can be funded. So I learn something new pretty much each day. Not a specific mentor. Um, I actually found that the networking at GPA um, has hooked me into people with a, you know, certainly at the beginning in uh, 2007 and, and back in the earlier times, um, which were people that were resources for me and did mentor me. And uh, so it was really GPA was my mentor. I would say get, get certified, develop a professional network, because that does help um, immensely. A lot of people get work, a lot of people advance their careers uh, based on the people they know. And networking is, is very important as far as employment and advancing your career. And get credentialed. Because it does mean something. It's it's the only way really to differentiate you from other people who are working in the field, and uh, it's very important. 